How's it going everyone? I just came back from the comic book store. I bought two more comic books because I'm following a series right now. I'm following Jonathan Hickman's story of the Marvel comics. I opened one already because I was there for like three or four hours so I was a bit I was getting bored so I actually just opened one and read a bit while I was waiting for uh, some people to come and pick me up. So I got two new comic books here. This is Prelude to Infinity. This is from the in, from Jonathan Hickman's Avenger story. Be right, I think it's the comic book before Infinity. So I got that. I thought this one had Thanos in it uh, with his Black Order, but it turns out it, um, it doesn't. But never mind. It actually has a good story so far, and I'm quite interested to know how it's going to end. This was the one I was looking for because I think hold on, spit the light things a bit. Okay, there. So this is called Avengers World. This one, I think it's the origins of the Avengers where they expanded the team. I read in a comic before this called Infinity Incoming, where Tony Stark and Captain America were discussing how should they build up the team and expand it. According to the blurb here, it says the Avengers go large expanding their roster and sphere of influence to a global and even interplanetary level. So, I haven't opened this yet, I'm gonna open it right now. So, this. Right, okay. I'm trying not to use scissors because they might damage the comic book. I haven't done, that never happened, but I hope, but it happened on one of, the, one of my storybooks I got. Okay, that feels good. I prefer getting paper bag covers for comic books because hard covers are like storybooks and I don't like comic books in the version of in the form of storybooks because because it's just like it's quite expensive on top of that. So yeah, I'm trying not to read this first. I want to read this. I'm going to be flying on holiday soon. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet, so I'm gonna bring this along on the flight. Uh, and I'm going to try to finish this one first. So, these two are quite nice, I guess. Um, I've actually finished reading the Infinity comics and a lot of stuff happens afterwards, which was Avengers Times Runs Out and Secret Wars. I want to finish the comic books series before before those events so I can actually like, understand everything because there were a lot of things like Inhumans, Avengers vs. Avengers versus X-Men and the incursions that I, have not, I, have no, I don't know about. Okay, so I want to read those first before what happens next because there's a lot of things in Infinity that came out that I was half sure and well, was mostly I mostly understand and the rest like stuff that happened before that I'm not sure what happened so I want to read those first. Okay, so now the second part of this video will be me reacting to the deleted scenes of Avengers Infinity War which just came out on YouTube so I'm going to uh, I'll put the link in the description for the, for the deleted scenes. I'll wear the headphones so that uh, my voice will be clear when I react. Right. The planet has been taken, Father. The Third Eye King pledges eternal loyalty to you. Oh, it's Gomorrah and Thanos. Accepted my terms. Oh, this is before she left. Okay, Gamora smiling. Oh, it's an, it's an illusion. It's the reality stone. Why? By the look of it, you seem content enough at the time. Yeah, she looks like she's actually proud of, of what she's doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's the reality stone's effects. So this is the scene from the sanctuary to Thanos' spaceship in the in the movie. 
after my planet died. I had nothing. No one. And I thought I never would. And I was alright with that. I had a new vocation. This ship is quite huge though. So. And I found me. And at my side I became the fiercest woman in the galaxy. why I chose you to find the soul stone. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I am. So this is sort of the same. Not because you didn't find it. Because you did. And you lied. I gave you my trust! You paid it with deceit! At least be honest about it now. I can make you tell me. Who would like it when Thanos is angry? <laughs> but that's a Hulk's MO. To force you into anything. That's why when you left me all those years ago, I allowed it. You allowed it? Raise me, you kidnapped me, orphaned me, and imprisoned me. Everything I hate about myself comes from They're both characters are screaming in this deleted scene. I stayed because you taught me I didn't deserve better. Why did you leave? Because I found people that showed me I did. You had a family here, little one. No. You just didn't care what happened to her. That's true. I mean, she cared little for Nebula until the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Alright. Okay, that was good. I figured I prefer the movie one better because one, both characters were shouting. Alright, and I felt like... Okay, Thanos... It shows that Thanos will be impatient with Gamora, which... He's quite patient considering how he sat on that chair for how long. So I think that I prefer the movie one better. But this one has some interesting elements like the reality stone's illusion and other things. But I prefer like Thanos actually trying to get the Gamora in the movie. And this one he's like, I did this and that. Just deal with it. You actually had a family. And yeah, I like that bit because it's true that she had like other siblings like the Ebony Maw. Boxing at Midnight, Nebula, okay, Nebula, like, it was true, like, Thanos didn't, said that Gamora didn't really care for, uh, for Gamora, uh, no, Gamora didn't really care for Nebula, which was true until Guardians of the Galaxy, she actually found out that Nebula actually considered Gamora as a sister, unlike other, the other siblings. So, I'm gonna get to the next deleted scene. I think this one's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Turn it back on! No! Oh, there's the zoom. Keep listening to the same song again and again and again! I told you. I'm screwed up, man. I gotta get back in the groove. Specifically, the New York groove. Give me my zoom. No. Give me the zoom. <laughs> Give it! The man who sings the song. Didn't he have a, mu a big music player? I will not sit here and allow you to malign Ace freely! Give me the zoom! No. That was this. Really is not helping. We haven't even left nowhere yet. <laughs> oh my god. That's true, they didn't leave yet. We lost Gamora because of you. We lost Gamora because you would not let me seize the moment. What do you care? You tried to kill her! She said I'd be saving the universe! Kill Both of you were tricked. It would stop that blinking yellow light. A blinking yellow light. The coded message channel? Oh. How long has this been on? But it was so beautiful. We... Oh, it Nebula just... sends the message. A That's how. Yellow light indicates an important secret coded message. Shame on you, Vince. How long? Did you get hypnotized by job. the blinking lights? It was his job. Drax, you didn't see the blinking yellow light? I did, but you said if it was yellow, let it mellow. Brown flush it down. Those were your orders. I wasn't talking about the coded message channel. 
That's a metaphor. Two important coded secret messages. That could have been helpful. Five hours. I've been sitting five hours. We have 22 messages. 23 messages. Oh, you keep coming in. From Nebula. Gamora is alive. Thanos is taking her to Titan. Why aren't you responding? No, Why aren't you responding? Are you getting my important coded secret messages? I ship coordinates. All right. I need my Nebula sent 23 messages and still is sending them? Yeah. Wait, how do we know this isn't a trap? Yeah, that's right. How how would they know that it's not a trap? All right. So that was that was good. Uh, I felt a bit dull for me, but yeah, I guess it's. I mean, like it didn't have to be in the movie, but it would explain how Nebulas. I mean, how the Guardians received those messages, and also like, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Star Lord has like another. A big music player in his ship, so why is he using the Zoom? Unless he's wearing the headphones. But anyway, that was good. Mentes is acting a bit weird, as she always does, but it's a bit wondering how, like, she doesn't say the, there's a yellow light there. I mean, like, half the night, does that happen in the ship? Uh, Drax is being a douche. They were both fooled. There's no point arguing about it. So it's not like it's your fault. If it weren't for this, Thanos was basically waiting on nowhere with the reality stone in play and everyone's everyone was fooled Gamora, Star-Lord, uh, Drax and Mentis and then they were all uh, incapacitated so yeah I mean like it's no one's fault and yes G star was trying told was told by Gamora that he'd be saving the universe if if he just shot her but of course his reality stone turns his gun to bubbles so yeah, it's not like yeah she could, but anyway, yeah. So those deleted scenes were good. I prefer. I like. I really like the first one. I think the first one was my favorite. I don't know if there's any more deleted scenes lying around, but I might react to those. But maybe if you see in this video, I'm not really the reacting sort. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me what you think. I'm still trying to develop this channel slowly as it goes. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later.